Hello everyone, my name is Chris Weasey. I'm here today to talk to you about how you can manipulate a baseball to move in the direction you want it to go. Sound confusing? Let me explain. Have you ever watched a Major League Baseball game and seen a pitcher throw a ball that just had a sudden change direction? Well, I'm here to tell you why this happens. The first thing we need to understand is that air is a fluid. A fluid is defined as a substance that has no fixed shape and yields easily to external pressure, such as a gas or a liquid. Air in this case is a gas and is made up of particles. These particles can then stick to the baseball when it is thrown. This allows for friction to occur. Friction is the resistance to motion of one object moving relative to another. It is not a fundamental force. Um, what was I saying, what was I saying? Oh, a fundamental force. Resistance. Oh, this is not a fundamental force like gravity or electromagnetism. Instead, scientists believe it is the result of electromagnetic attraction between the charged particle and two touching surfaces. In this case, the ball and the air particles. The particles allow for us to create the spin necessary to make the ball move the way we want it to. Another concept we need to understand is that of drag. Consider this. If you are in a car driving and you stick your hand out the window, you feel the wind, you feel the wind push back. What the f have I really only been